I had a conversation this week with someone who has got uh, some credit challenges. You know, this is this is just what, what we do, right? But this conversation was interesting because, you know, I, I always try to talk about the cost of money in anything. And, and in general, when someone comes to us, they're looking to buy something. They've been declined or they've, you know, gone around and around and they, they've got interest rates that are killing them. I always look, when I look at the credit report, the first thing I do is I look at the inquiries. I want to know where you've been before you came to see me. That That's an important piece of this because it tells me what I need to know. In this particular case, a person was shopping for a car and there were 23 or 24 inquiries on the credit report. And I knew before I even looked at the score that we had a challenge. So we started to talk about, you know, what I had seen on the credit report. And there was a lot, you know, there's a lot that needed to be dealt with. And I'm not one of these guys that says, you know, don't pay anything. Let's use the money that you owe as leverage to get things off your credit report, right? That's one of the things, if you've listened to the radio show or the podcast or any of these videos, I always, you know, say that. Let's use what you owe in an attempt to get these things removed from your credit. And, and in this case, it was going to be a couple grand in, in expense, and that's a fair amount of money. But but at one point, this person said, well, you know, if it's a couple grand, I might as well just put that down on the car, you know, and I've got a decent enough interest rate on that car. And I said, well, hold on a second. I mean, you're you're free to do whatever you want. I'm grateful that you called. But what what I want to know is, what's the good interest rate? What's the interest rate that you're happy with after seeing what I've seen? I I kind of know where you're going to be. And 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 I was told the number is fourteen percent. So fourteen percent. That's not a good interest rate. So you know what that costs you at the end? You know how much money you're paying really for the car? Well, no, but I need a car and this is what I need to do. And, you know, the kind of the back and forth of what happens a lot in these conversations that I have with folks. And I said, let's do some math for just a second. It's going to cost you a couple grand to for us to get your credit on track. And we can probably do it pretty quick. We can get some deletions initiated right away, and we can get your score probably, you know, high enough over seven hundred that it's going to make a difference interest rate wise. So, you know, I made some notes which I'm gonna I'm gonna look at for the purposes of getting my facts straight for you right now. So let's say for the sake of argument, we use five percent as the good interest rate, and the 14 is the bad interest rate. At 5% interest on 25 grand at you know $2000 down you're financing $23,000. Right? You're going to end up paying about $3000 in interest on that money at at 5% over, you know, that period of time, 60 months. Not horrible, but but 3 grand is 3 grand. If we look at the other side of it, if we look at 14% on a $25,000 car with two grand down, financing $23,000 over 60 months, they're paying $9,100 and some change to buy that $23,000 car. It's almost 40%. Isn't that crazy? That's that is the cost of money. You're paying nine thousand dollars for the right to finance twenty three thousand dollars. That's why you get your credit fixed. That's why you spend two grand to get your credit fixed. By the way, that allows you to go out and apply for a credit card and do other things you need. It's not just about the car. It's about the big picture of credit. That's why you do that. That's the importance of your credit. You have any questions, you want to book an appointment, feel free to pick up the phone and call me. The link is in the bio.